Hi, I'm Tony Jabolsi from the University of British Columbia, and we're presenting work on talabrutinib, which is a, a new oral medication um, under investigation for treatment of multiple sclerosis. And the study is, has a lot of exciting components to it. One is um, introducing yet another oral medication for MS in a very crowded market. The nice thing we found in the study was that it's very well tolerated and excellent safety profile. And so that uh, gives some good usefulness for patients in terms of choice in the future if the drug passes phase three, of course. The other thing we found is it's very effective um, in terms of preventing new, uh, uh, new MRI lesions, which is our biomarker for inflammation. And, um, and that in the study we're presenting at the American Academy meeting, uh, was looking at patients at the highest risk of disability and more relapses um, based on their clinical and MRI profile entering the study. And the drug was as effective in that group as the overall population. So again, making it very promising for a broad group of patients. Uh, two other interesting things with it, uh, this type of drug can cross the blood-brain barrier and therefore could work on the immune system resident within the brain that might be driving progression such as microglia cells. And um, that is particularly this certain drug, talabrutinum, is of great interest as it's one of the most penetrant um, oral medications for the CNS uh, of this class of drugs. Uh, and so it will be investigated in a phase three trial not only in relapsing disease, but in progressive disease. And this could hopefully be a breakthrough for treating progressive MS. And the final thing that excites me about this drug in the study was the study design, the phase two. Uh, it was a very novel design, uh, which was, uh, which I think will be the, 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 um, the way going forward, the gold standard for new clinical trial development. Uh, instead of having a, a one-year or six-month placebo-controlled study, this was a one-month placebo-controlled study, and it gave us the power necessary to identify the best dose of the medication, which is the goal of a phase two trial, to go forward to phase three without exposing patients to uh, placebo or, un or a non-useful medication for too long a period of time. So wonderful design and a lot of promise to this medication.